do well and sit child because you don't know what God is doing or where God is taking them months and days from now. So it is better enjoy the present they carry because something is about to change. Say that somebody is about to change. So it's important to just enjoy. I told my kids this morning that I can't wait to be in church because I'm going to enjoy the presence of the Almighty God. And I was expecting to be in the presence of God because there is no place that is better than His presence. I've never been in any part of the world that have grace than the presence of God. No country is in power than the presence of God. The place you will ever enjoy, the place that will keep you fresh and beautiful is in the presence. Men and women that knows how to log into the presence are always what green. And let's turn by always fresh. I'm telling you, we are so blessed to be called art people. We are so blessed to be called Christians. This is one of the greatest things that will happen to you to be in the presence of, of, of the King of glory and feel a, a dimension of grace. You know that something is happening to you. You don't need to cut your flesh. You lost somebody. You don't need to do anything weird in order for God to impart your life. All you need to do is to release your faith and tap into what God has for you. Hello, somebody. So the man of God is a word man, you know. He has a word. I'm sure that builds the church. And if you open up, hello somebody, if we see Queen Elizabeth right now, me and the first want to stand up and touch them, you know, and touch her, we want to shake her, everybody queen, queen, queen. And she deserves to be honored. Please don't misunderstand. When we see Prince, you know, Prince, um, what do you call it, Harry, or Prince um, William, we want to go shake them, right? Hello somebody. When we see certain politicians, we're excited for them. We tango for them. We, we celebrate them. But do you know people you should celebrate more? People that, you know, host the presence of God here on earth. Oh, that's not enough, somebody. I'm telling you, the people that host the presence of God should be celebrated more. That's, it takes a lot to host the presence of God. There are men that are custodians of God's presence. So when we see them in our city, we should receive them as an angel sent from heaven. And when we do, we will see mighty manifestation. Now one of the reasons God is moving in places like Toadwood Nation is because there, are, there is more honor. Hello somebody. People knows how to honor. Now the power of God cannot move in the church. Any church where honor is not known, you will not know the power of God. There will be no taste of God's power in any church where honor is not observed. But when, you know, even you as a dad, as a, a parent, when your children honor you, you tend to release more grace. Hello, somebody, to them. You love them all, but you tend to release more grace to kids who knows how to honor you. Now, when we come to the house of God, honor the atmosphere and honor those God has, you know, raised among us to speak into our life, we tend to draw more grace from them. Hello, somebody. It all depends on how far do you want to go. You know, if you refuse to honor the anointing, the anointing does not bless you. Hello, somebody. Because whatever you do not respect will not comfort you. So, but if you believe that God will bless me today, that I, Lord, I've been waiting for something. I need some shift in my life. And I want you to speak to me through your servant. Something will leave him and enter your life. Hello, somebody. And these things are spiritual principles and they are real. Hello, somebody. Now, have you seen a demon leave people and enter another? Somebody sent me, a, a pastor sent me this from India. I said, please pray for my son. So I was handling deliverance. The demon in the lady leave the lady and enter the son. And he said, we've been battling to cast it out of the son, but the demon has refused to leave. So if a demon will leave you know, another and enter, the, you know, the next person, don't you think that the presence of God that somebody's hosting could leave a man and enter you and you can begin to walk in that same realm of grace? But it all depends on how much do you want to attract that you really want it. Hello, somebody. If you want it, you will receive it. If you go to a meeting where people jump into a meeting where you, 
you know, you see the move of God. And, them, and you, sometimes you say, do you want the grace? And people say, yeah. That, the, the people that are shouting with one, when you move your hand, boom. You see the power of God slaying people because they are so excited to receive from the king of glory. So this is what happened. In any atmosphere where there is honor, where there is expectation, things tend to happen. The man of God, even though he didn't prepare, but if you believe in what God is doing, something will happen to you. So after this meeting, you don't need to go back home and start thinking, Lord, what am I going to do with this problem? You know? No. Because this meeting is designed to reposition you. So now you walk into this place, believe that God is restructuring that thing. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, God is going to take care of it. So I'm here to receive. I came, to, I was so excited this morning. I'm sorry I'm still talking. No, but I was so excited this morning. I said, I, Lord, I was just thinking I'm going to be in the presence from now to, you know, this evening. So I just want to come and be in the presence of God. Hello, somebody. Oh, who is here, somebody? Is there anybody staying in this place? Yes, says somebody. Help me, says somebody. I am staying in this place. Waiting for what God is about to do. Say, I don't know about you, but I know God is about to do something in my life. I know it's already happening. The glory of God is passing by and is looking for me. I don't know about you. Somebody shout, yes. Or I live.